They were actually coming out the ground and climbing up the tree, like loads of them. They're finally here, 17 years in the making. We went brood 10 cicada hunting tonight and found the harmless, creepy crawlers everywhere on Booth Lane in Haverford. They also settled down on gravestones at a nearby church. We've got hundreds of them. I mean, hundreds, and the puppy loves playing with them. <laughs> you could hear them actually going up the bark. Before we went on our little safari, we caught up with Jeff Hergie in Herndon, Virginia. We tried getting a preview of what to expect. His house is swarming with them. In this video, you can hear the loud noise coming from just one brood 10 cicada. The sound I'm hearing off in the distance is their mating call. It almost sounds like a, a house alarm or a car alarm going off. These insects need the right ground temperatures to emerge. First alert, meteorologist Steve Sosna breaks it down. We need 64 degrees or above in the soil, and we will hit that thresh mark this week. Now, if we get any rain, that helps the emergence go faster. And what you're looking for on the ground, if you're trying to see where they're coming up out of, are these dime-sized holes in the ground. Entomologists say these cicadas won't hurt you. You can even hold them in your hands. We're told Philly and most of South Jersey won't see them at all. The adults will be emerging and crawling up into the trees and eventually start to sing all together, chorusing, and they'll be flying around and all of that. As he says, celebrate them. They're only here until June. After that, you won't see them again until 2038. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News. If you're interested in spotting some cicadas for yourself, experts say you won't see them in the grass. Mm -mm. You will see them, though, in the trees. Not just any trees, though. We are talking leafy ones. And don't think about looking for them to pop up in pine trees. What they really like is the sap from maple trees. Oh, yum. <laughs> Sweet dreams.